Hello, and welcome to this edition of Weekly Wrap-Up. I'm Micaiah Clayton. And I'm Aaliyah Rowland. On this edition of Weekly Wrap-Up, we will be going over some announcements and our sports and activities update. Stay tuned for this and more on Lee Summit's Weekly Wrap-Up. Let's hand it over to Landon for our pledge. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you interested in auditioning for the fall play, Murder on the Orient Express? If so, auditions will be today in the PAC immediately following the Tiger Act meeting. For more information, see Mr. Hainsley in room A-147. The first ever meeting of the Black Student Union will be held September 10th in room B13. See or email Mrs. Hales for more information. Robotics will have an open house September 12th and 14th at 7 p.m. in the Robotics Shop in D Building. Remember the Tiger Cafe is open every day in the library from 2nd hour to 7th hour. Now let's toss it over to Lauren for a sports and activities update. Good morning, Tigers. Last week was a busy week for our fall athletes as it was the first full week of games. Volleyball started us off strong on Monday as they played against Ray Peck, beating them 3-0, then on Tuesday beat Pembroke Hill 3-1. Our girls golf team competed in the tournament on Monday and placed 6th, then on Wednesday tied in their match against Ray Peck. Our softball team unfortunately took a loss against Lee Summit West 11-0, however our girls tennis team beat Lee Summit West on Monday, then beat Blue Spring South at home on Tuesday. Our boys swim and dive team also had a very successful week as they came out on top in their meet against Summit Christian Academy and Smith Cotton. Our boys soccer team had an amazing game on Thursday against Lee Summit West as they beat them 2-1 in double overtime. Unfortunately, our football team did not have much luck this week as they lost 36-0 against Lee Summit North on Friday. Finally, on Saturday, the boys and girls cross country teams both competed in the Tim Nixon Invitational in Liberty. The girls placed 10th out of their 13 teams and the boys placed 9th out of their 15 teams. For more information and updates regarding the upcoming games this week, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at TBTBA Sports. Have a good week, Tigers. Thank you, Lauren, and thank you for tuning into this edition of Lee Summit's Weekly Wrap-Up. For more information, visit the LSHS website or follow us on Instagram and Twitter at TBTV8Tigers and TBTVA Sports. Once again, I'm Aaliyah Rowland. And I'm Micaiah Clayton. See you next week, Tigers.